with every camera release nowadays there is a huge hype coming around it in order to push you to click on that buy button but there are three things to think about before clicking on that button so if you are starting your journey as a content creator i highly recommend you to watch this video till the end hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel i'm photorabs i make videos about photography filmmaking camera tech related reviews unboxings action cams vlogging kits and so on if you are interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel, that's a massive help. And today's video is not only for those who would like to start their journey in content creation, but also for everyone who would like to buy a camera these days, whether for travel vacation, for family portraits, for family events, moments, or even on a professional level. In the last couple of years, I acquired many cameras, whether Nikon cameras, Sony cameras, or even Fujifilm cameras, and I'm still buying new cameras whenever I find it interesting for me. But of course, this is not necessary at all. I change my gears for many reasons, but that does not mean that you have to change yours because a content creator out there changed his camera to another brand or switched a camera from a system to another system. And my motivation to change my gears may not be yours neither. But unfortunately, these days, whenever a brand is releasing a new camera, there is a huge hype around it, pushing you to go click on that buy button and spend your money and buy this camera. They try to convince you that this camera is the best out there and you can create great images, great footages and the best work possible with these cameras. So in my opinion, this is somehow a brainwash and we'll talk about it. Personally, as a photographer, I do lots of portraits, weddings, events, and from time to time I do some landscapes. And my photography needs are somehow fulfilled with my Nikon Z6 II, which is a great camera. And if I would stick to a camera to just create some photos, the Nikon Z6 II will be the camera to go with and I can live with it until the shutter will die, which is probably not happening at all on this camera. It's a beast of a camera. But I don't do only photography, I do also lots of videos and videos in low light for events and weddings and so on. So I need a camera that can help me create photos, but in the same time help me create some videos as well in these conditions. Although newer cameras always offer newer technology, newer modes, newer features, but they are not always the best fit for my kind of use and for my workflow as a photographer and videographer. So that does not mean that with every new release of a camera that I'm going to buy it immediately and start using it and make some videos about it. Even though I made some videos where I say that I'm switching from this camera to that one or from this brand to that one and there are lots of videos about this topic on the internet these days. But that does not mean in any way that you have to switch your camera to another one or to switch systems from one brand to another one. And I'm not saying at all that the decision I took to change from a camera to another one or from a system to another one is the best decision out there. And I'm not saying at all that my setup is the best out there. What can fit for me might not fit for you. Keep that in mind. And sometimes I regret my own decisions as well. So personally, when I make these videos about switching from a camera to another or from a brand to another, it's not to convince you to go buy this one and sell or ditch this one. But I make these videos in order to help you or to help some of you that are interested in getting this or that to see some feedback, to see some thoughts about these two cameras or these two systems in the same video. So if you would like to buy a new camera to add it to your gear, to your setup, or if you'd like to change completely your gears from one brand to another one, here are three things to think about. Number one is, will this new camera will help you achieve things that you couldn't do with your old camera? Let's say you have a camera that can shoot only in 4K 60p and you need some extra slow motion and you need it in 4K. In that way, it's really justified to go for a camera that offers 4K 120 frames per second. Or for example, now you are shooting in a studio and you need a higher megapixel sensor while your camera is only 12 or 24 megapixels. Number two is what will this new camera help you improve in what you used to do with your old camera? 
Think about the autofocus of your actual camera. If it's not as fast and accurate as you'd like it to be, then you have to change your system or the camera to another one. Or think maybe about the IBIS. If your camera does not have good IBIS, but some other cameras have the IBIS that you would like to have on your camera for your footages, then it is justified to switch from a camera to another. And number three, can you justify the price of this new camera compared to your actual camera? Because of course, the new camera will be more expensive than the old one. So can you justify this price? Can you use this new camera to make more money, to make more income, to help you refund a part of or the total price of this new camera? So for me, these are the main questions that I ask myself before getting or buying a new camera these days. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please click on like. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it. And please check my affiliate links down below. If you buy via my affiliate links, you help my channel a lot at no extra cost for you. And thank you for watching. Ciao for now.